So I'm still in block shape. The next step is that I'm going to go with a bandsaw and I'm going to cut off the rough extra material to the depth of um, where I'm going to shape the neck. You can see also I'm jumping ahead, but I have glued the fretboard on at this point. So, and the reason I've glued the fretboard on is that I have a square uh, surface to clamp to. I don't want to shape the roundness of the neck before I've clamped the fretboard on. So here I have uh, the pieces of the neck. I've already cut off the extra uh, for the depth of the, of the neck. But that's what I start with. I've got my square block. And with this bandsaw, I've just cut, cut this off and taken it away. Obviously, when you're going to shape something, any big chunk like that that you can cut off beforehand is going to save you a lot of work. So now I'm down to this point, and I'm going to want to round this. I could start rasping at this point, but that would take me a lot of time. So I'm going to cut more off with this saw, and it's all freehand stuff. And in a way, I almost hate to show people that I do it this way because I think I'd be kicked out of my high school wood shop for doing it this way. It's a little on the dangerous side, but I work by myself. And I'm, boy, I keep a healthy fear at all times. I keep very focused uh, on what I'm doing. So I'm not recommending this is the way to do it. This is just the way I do it. Here we go. So at this, at this moment, I've really taken a 45 degree here and a 45 degree here. I've taken off quite a bit of material. And I will keep doing it. I will keep gradually going over and over this. Um, I'll take more material off of here uh, because this is where it meets the body. And um, I'll, do, I'll just do a little bit more. See, I'm just um, roughing it out. And I, I also have a healthy caution not to take off too much because you can't, get it, you can't glue it back on once you've taken off too much. 